a teenager, our next reader loved skipping school, smoking J's, and punk rock shows. There's like a punk rock theme tonight. Now, as an adult, she loves welding, being bossy, and pole dancing. Please welcome Kay Galloway. There is so many of you. <laughs> like, okay. I'm, uh, I'm Kay, I'm a welder. Um, I pole dance, I'm hot. Okay. <laughs> and I, I've always just wanted to hold a microphone in my hand. Okay. But I, <laughs> I'm shaking so I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay. Okay. July 6, 1995. Uh, dear, oh, it says like pre shoes, but dear precious diary. <laughs> Hi, today I am very tired. I went to Zena's birthday. Everyone got into a big fight against Natasha. I wasn't in it. Natasha, Kathy, and Janice were talking about me. Zena, Jenny, and Jessica. Oh, <laughs> Off, so um, um, other than that, it was fun. I am grounded. <laughs> I am grounded even though I went. I got a new tape, 12 inches of snow. <laughs> I slept from 12.30 to 5.30. Mom was bugging me. Sometime soon, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of fish. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Love you forever. And then it says K-R plus S-T. And I don't know who S-T is. And it, <laughs> it equals love. Um, I was, like, obsessed with fish. <laughs> July 7th, 1995. Yo, diary. <laughs> Today I got my hair cut, and it looks cool. It has to be, or it's up to my middle ear, and it has a major undercut, right to the skin. I kind of rock in the same thing. <laughs> 20 years later. Uh, uh, when I went to the beach with Zena's birthday, I got five blisters from the hot sand. I have nothing to say, but I got drunk, and I got really stoned. But, or, but of course, I wouldn't, I don't know. Love cursing. <laughs> okay. So this is a few years later. Um, I was going through a phase. Okay. Sunday, October 22nd. Dear Kitty. Okay, I named my, my um, journals after Anne Frank or Kitty because that's what she named her journals after. And um, because I grew up in like, you know, I grew up okay and I had really hard, just like her. Okay, so the people you need to know in this story, um, the, the one character's name is Pam. I've changed her name for her sake. Mr. Stewart is my science teacher. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Greg's my brother. My parents are my parents. Okay. So I crushed Pam's pussy. <laughs> Remember how I told you that I chose to be bi? Well, I asked Pam if she would ever sleep with me since she always jokes about it. She said yes. I picked her up in Vernon on Saturday afternoon and we went swimming in her pool. We giggled and she touched my boobs. <laughs> Under my bra. Hussy. I think her neighbor saw, but he is so nosy. I think he may be a pervert. Because, you know, two teen girls making out in the pool. 
Anyways, after swimming, we went to the sex store. But it was closed to six, so we went to Subway to kill time. <laughs> I wanted to impress Pam so much that I showed her my car's engine, and I revved it with the choke. <laughs> I do things like that. Uh, nothing gets you more wet than a choke. She didn't seem to care. <laughs> but the guy working in st Subway seemed to notice. Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. At six, we went to Libra Love Boutique. We stuck our fingers in all the touch me holes and the rubber vaginas. <laughs> Why don't guys just use real pussy? Barf. <laughs> oh. Can you guys see my heart? <laughs> Ridiculous. We rented a porn and we bought a purple sparkly vibrator dildo. It's so cute. <laughs> I have to hide it so in the or I have to hide it so the house cleaner doesn't find it. Mom would freak out and tell dad, and then he would likely beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Anyways, while I was buying the dildo, Mr. Stewart walked up to us, and he asked us what we were doing. I said, science? <laughs> and Pam started to... Uh, and Pam started to snort laugh. <laughs> Mr. Stewart laughed too, but he looked to see what we were buying. How embarrassing. And embarrassing is spelled like, I, I, yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> I hope he doesn't say anything in science class tomorrow. <laughs> I can't even believe he's at the sex store. Ha, 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 ha. He must be lonely. <laughs> so after Libra, we came back to my place and we watched a movie with mom and dad. Greg was being so stupid. He wanted to hang out after the movie with me and Pam. And at 11.30, Greg finally left. Me and Pam went to the futon. Ow! I remembered that I had a romantic CD upstairs. <laughs> Lil' Kim. <laughs> so I ran upstairs to my room and got Lil' Kim. And she makes these sexy noises in her songs. Like, like... So I, so it will put Pam and me in the mood. We put the porn on and watched for a while. And then it says stop. Oh, that was from last time because I was too embarrassed to read on. Okay, so I have, this is so embarrassing that I can't rehearse it. So <laughs> bear with me. Okay, then she jumped on me. We wrestled until I pulled off all of her clothes, and she took mine off too. I pulled out the purple dildo and put it inside her and turned it on. She said it tickled and asked to use it my fingers instead, so I did. Oh, God. She used the dildo on me. It was okay. <laughs> I think I'd like the, or I would like the real thing more. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I slapped her pussy. <laughs> Softly, and she loved it. So I kept doing it. 
She kept pushing her, oh, she kept pushing my head down to her crotch, but I didn't want to. Instead, I made her do me. I feel like a jerk. But that's going too far for me. Lil' Kim ma kept making silly sounds, and I had to turn it off. I asked Pam if I could use a dildo on her again, and without the vibe, and she said yes. And then I went to town. <laughs> I slammed it. <laughs> like knock it out of the park. <laughs> she was moaning so loud, I had to cover her face with a pillow. Do you know how hard it is to make a girl moan? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You can now call me Kirsten Radies, the pussy crusher. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Pam and me are going out now. I guess I don't like Chris anymore. I, I, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, come on, give Kay all your love. Oh my gosh. The rule is you're supposed to read something you're embarrassed of, so she did a very good job.